if you're going to a hot oil containment or if your cooling units need to be chimneyed up to the drop ceiling, this is a, a solution that Carrie and company have come up with. It's very uh, quick and easy to install. You can set it up so it's below the drop ceiling or you can tie it directly up to the drop ceiling. And you can't really see it in this picture. There's a little bit of background in the on the back of this where there's a sliding panels in order to allow access to change filters and that. So it's a it's a nice, neat, quick little installation. It takes a few minutes to build this and, and get it installed. So it's very effective that way. And again, if you're going to hot oil containment, that's something you certainly want to add on to your cooling units to pull that hot air back from the ceiling back down into the cooling unit. Some other customized solutions that we've done. Uh, very often, if we go into a colo site, what you'll have is rack rows and cages. And in this case here, we've done a on a cages where the customer has their equipment. We've done twin wall polycarbonate on the cages in order to create a hot aisle or a cold aisle. Here, it's the same product that we use going up to the ceiling to enclose it as a, I think in this case, as a, as a hot aisle. And the picture on the right shows an installation where we've got both the polycarbonate, but we also have curtains in there as well at the end of the row. So it's quite a bit of flexibility. You, you shouldn't be restrained by what you can do from a containment point of view. It's just a matter of coming up and, and assessing the alternatives and how well they would be working for the site. Here's another case. Uh, this is, uh, we've actually done hot oil containment here. So the panels above the racks are fairly close to the front of the racks to make sure that any of the hot air coming out of the racks is captured and moved up into the drop ceiling. In this case, again, because of fire issues, fire detection issues, our containment was 18 inches below the ceiling. Uh, this is just an indication or a picture of, of some of the design that we would have. And then in this case here, again, 18 inches on the right-hand side, 18 inches below the ceiling, but using the uh, plastic curtains as a, as a way of closing off that end of aisle. Here's uh, another indication of a customized solution. We, some cases, run into a installation where we're in the cold aisle, but the customer has equipment that's blowing hot air into the cold aisle. So we've come up with a, uh, what we refer to as an airflow diverter in order to capture that hot air and move it up and away from the cold aisle so it's not diluting the air uh, that's coming from the cooling units. And another case here where what we've installed are curtains around fiber trays, around cable trays, et cetera. And that's, again, one of the benefits of using the plastic curtains. They, they're easy to manipulate, easy to work around any of the obstructions. And in this case, again, we were required to be 18 inches below the ceiling, which meant that we didn't have to make modifications to the customer, didn't have to make modif modifications to the fire detection, fire suppression uh, systems.